A very good evening to you. Welcome to Obina Show Live. It's been a beautiful week. Week in Ende Kisonga Songa is a Thursday night and I'm hoping your week has been beautiful. If it has not been, don't worry. Next week, we do it again. But catch on your Friday, you wind it down and then we strategize on Sunday, Monday to Naipiga Tena. Sindio, we're coming to you live from Miale 72 Lounge. Ample parking, amazing food. Ukikuja hapa ambia okupatie, special ya Obina. They'll do it for you. They have a car wash on site. Na pio kawa na meetings zako na kunyo na fanya. They have a conference hall. And also privacy yako guaranteed. Kuna makubikol. Unakana mtu wako huko. Muna pigia story zanyu. Shere zanyu. Una unasaviwa. Na beizao pia ziko. Very nice. Alafiko lavi. Come on. Mkupeleko de mlavi. Anaza kukataa bado. Pass by Miale 72 Lounge. For this episode of Obina Show Live. I'm hosting a superstar. Kenyan. Netflix superstar. I've known you for a while. When I met him last. A couple of years ago. He was a young boy. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. What's going on? But he's a one, a one and only real boogie. Yeah. He's real boogie. We put a right. You go sour. Yeah. Sika boogie. Uh-uh. Guna posta nilipata enu. Eh. Uh. Eh. Mandika real boogie. Nukushua. Yoto gonyesha, eh. Sio mimi. Sio mimi. Pachulo. So, my graphics guy is called Pachulo. Yeah. Ni ule mikikuyu. <laughs> <laughs> uko. I had my PA. Alikuwa me jam. Mimi, are you made the... Nikola, what's happening? Hadi zini pachulo. Mimekuwa na mteksi kitu. Anandika mbugi. Anandika 1G is double G. But the funny part actually was, yes. before the mbugi came, Yeah. kwanza alikuwa mandika I am kabugi. I think guys confuse me with I am kabugi, the creator. There you go. Bro, yeah. So moja ni cartoon, moja, moja ni eh, serious actor. Eh. Na ni rapper. <laughs> eh. Eh, kwa show. Kwa show. Pia, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Moja ni katun na pia ni fighter. Ali chukua vita na Nigeria. Mbaka waka apologize. E ule ni fighter wetu. Yeah. E, alafu anakimbianga hivi. Una ako straight up. But you wote ni light skin. So wote ni ma light skin. One is tall. One is tall. One is tall. Yeah. One is tall. Yeah. Moja ako na kaumama. E. <laughs> <laughs> Kabugi, Kabugi, you know I'm not talking about you, bro. <laughs> Kabugi, I'm not talking about you, bro. Yeah, yeah, most it's, likely. It's, it's one of the two. But welcome. Asante, I haven't seen you in a minute, live life. Manze, manze kuwa mimi. But I'm seeing you doing things. Asante, so there's a time, uh, late last year, I was working on my song Friday night with uh, nine Kenyan All Stars. So I went to Nani's place, uh, Ivan to his studio, yeah. to do something. Then I found Ivan making the montage. For volume. I was like, I know this G, man. <laughs> Your face was everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, I know this guy. I haven't seen him in a minute. And like, yeah, they're doing this. They're doing that. Like, so that was volume. That was volume. Yeah. Out. Doing well. Doing very, very well. Netflix. Netflix. Volume has been top 10 since it came out. The only show that has stayed on top 10 since we came out. Yo. Yeah. And still there. Maji. That's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. Ulilipo apoa? Yeah. Hamu ulilipo apese ya Kenya? Apana. We ilikuwa fiti. Everything yeah. was well. The show did well. Okay. I mean, the agreement between me and primary was amazing. Okay. And also the value it has brought on board. You can't equate it to money. Of course. Yeah. Ukisha ingia Netflix. Yeah. Ah, Mina kama nini yeah, kuingia yeah. Netflix? Yeah. Sikia ubino Netflix. Ndiyo yo inakamu. Inakuja. Yeah. It might. Wambonu ulitoka kwa nini? Kwa screens buda. Sija toka. Yeah. Ni venye kwa screens muna itana na kujuana. <laughs> Let me break it down for you. <laughs> ni break it down. You see the same same faces. Yeah. On different shows. Either on TV. Okay. It's actually on TV. But on Showmax. On Netflix. Ama on these other channels. You see the same faces. I'm like. There's a couple of people who can act. And they have acted for a long while. I have a background in acting. From set books to national theatre to even what I do now. Yeah. Like for Aoli, a lot of people thought I was Nigerian. It's called acting. So it was beautiful acting for like nine, eight years. However, the same, same shows. Kabugi ya kukwai, not Kabugi, Bugi ya kukwai, Bugi ya kukwai, Bugi ya kukwai, Bugi ya kukwai, Muna itana na kujuana. Nime itua shows ka mbili tatu. I think moja Netflix na zingine za Showmax. But kama extra. Imagine bro. Ubina mzima. Who do I have to sleep with? <laughs> Who are you like sleeping me, with? Because you're scared of Nalalia Rolls. Mimi. Eh, oh, Nalala oh. not no pay rolls. Mimi Nalala na God every day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's blasphemous. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's blasphemy. Yeah. So, um, no, in, in the point of. Okay. I just. The reason why you find many actors, even me, Kabugi, when I'm part of many projects, is Kenya to ja, We are not at the point where our industry okay. is paying me enough to be in one job. Trust you me, if one series was paying me enough, Singer have Kwenda hunting all over. So sometimes I go to auditions and someone is like, Boogie, Pia uko hapa. 
yeah niko hapa cuz i need to do like three four jobs of bina to stay afloat and if you're good and you have the time director kiskia bugi is still available he'll still cast me as long as i have the time so even me i have to go out there constantly looking for jobs cuz i cannot survive on one job so Some when the audition uh, yeah, me when the audition volume i have a whole reel nili post kwa my instagram before even show it okay before even i knew i'll be casted of me going through the audition process with uh, from day one tulienda hapo tukapata waseka so mbili juzi last year tu bado nikiwa bugi so i still go there do the audition and that's that's the cuz you will see even many of these actors who are when in the same shows over and over again they are good you can't take that away from no them. no no i'm not they're yeah, yeah so good. what happens is we cannot be sustained by one salary obviously there's this other side of huyo anajua huyo huyo anajua huyo but if we in a point where salem ina nilipa so good i cannot una relax uh, hey, una relax i mean one year it's a telenovela i'm there for an entire year then that would be great for me cuz i'll be able to be comfortable okay. but at the same time i have to do two shows at the same time nifanya influencing online just to dance, the math, dance uko yeah, the math, the math yeah so basically film in kenya is still not paying as it should i think actors i think film has money but oh, the, the, the the money is not getting to the is not getting ah. to the crew is not getting to the to the, the crew wanalipwa vibaya yeah crew wanali hata kuna actors wanalipwa vibaya sana ubina me yeah. there was a point in my life for so long hata mkiniona kwa screen i was being paid really 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 not good money what's not good money mm. roughly i can say there's there's a film i did i was the lead a film i did i was the lead and i was underpaid more than half of what my costers were being paid because they are my parents and when i mean highly underpaid is less by even 60 70% meaning if my parents are getting 100 and i'll put 30 and <clears throat> when you look at this when you look at the math not mathing there's always that oh industry you're trying to do this you're trying to we're trying you try but obina point to me me can point to you multiple actors who are in distress they are good them their talent is well ukunje tunajulikana cinema star but they don't have money but point for me a depressed producer or director it's very hard meaning they somewhere we are lagging we keep saying our industry is good tunatoa quality shows we are, we are, we, are, we are, you know we are tuna tuna take it to the next level compare our, we like even when you watch volume that production level is the same as they said all all the, even our local shows on Showmax and Maisha Magic but why is it that it doesn't reflect in our rates uh, me i have actors who are way underpaid than camera operators in the industry obina wow. but we are told we will be told ah unajua sasa ndio inaanza acting aina do aina do We have so many actors who end up depressed. We have so many actors who end up quitting the industry and venturing into other things. But I'm yet to meet a director or producer who said, "Eh, film industry nilieka pesa yangu nikasota sana hadi nikatoka." They always say we sort but they'll get another show they'll and get do another it. Show and do so it. what does that do Obina? It means we reach a point where the industry now is being uh championed by business people. Meaning Man. the quality will go up but the reparations are the pay to the creatives is not going up and if meaning you complain they replace you yeah, me as a creative i'll never meaning to talk eh eh na katu hapa see you meet them unajua na shangaa mbona we meet some of you guys and your netflix and everything obina mazi to take a lunch i'm like my gee yeah imagine man it's a sad situation and for me the only way it shifted i told you for so many years i was in that like the only way it shifted is when i got management then kapata another person to open up my eyes cuz me as an actor obina you've been an actor Yeah. I'll do a script even for free cuz I love it. That's me bro. I'm I'm, so many king yo fisi when I'm going to negotiate with this producer. Me and up with a mindset of I love the art and I love anything. Who producer? She's a business person. He's a business person. I will, will not be on the same level. True. So it's very easy for me to be manipulated cuz I'm not looking at the business aspect of this craft. Some of us we go to auditions and we sign the contract on the same day. Ata usomi I've done that. Mume sign yeah 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 I When I got my manager Anchi we were looking at some of the contracts and she was just telling me you sold your soul <laughs> total buyout ulipoa 30k kufanya kitu na forever utawe 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 claim hiyo kitu this is this this and this and this and this and it's a sad state cause 
we have we, we are talking about growing the industry and championing for growing the industry but uh many people are knowingly exploiting actors you'll do that to me once twice th four times so that means you're just knowingly exploiting me you're not you helping know, me grow yeah when when you share this story i'm looking at even my story and comedians in this country most comedians are depressed and they're suffering because of the gatekeepers, how they manipulated them. Yeah. Let me paint a picture for you. You do a comedy show. I'll not mention names. This comedy show goes on a TV station. Of course, they're being paid. There are sponsors who've come on this comedy show. They pay. It airs, you're given 5,000. Uh, if it airs and you go on screen, you're added 15,000, maybe two, three months later which might or might not come. Then this TV station will do a replay of the same show, and then it will air on a sister TV station for this station. It's one media house. But you'll still not get paid as the artist who did the comedy, because the jokes are yours. It's just a platform, yeah. okay? Then you'll see it on a different TV channel. You're like, my G. Yeah. But... Guess but nobody will give paid. you anything. <laughs> and then you'll find it on YouTube. Yeah. Not my YouTube. But you were paid 5K. I was paid 5K. Buyout. Total buyout. But you it's on claim another YouTube. And if I take that video of me, I upload it on my YouTube, they strike it. Yeah, that's a problem. My G. And you start thinking, why are people so depressed? And guys are looking, and some people are just manipulating other people intentionally. And they just know, my G, listen, I've done a show on this TV. It's moved to this other TV. Call me and tell me, bro, we didn't get the same amount of money, but she got 2K because to move up. To me, bro, YouTube pays and their stats. Like if I go and say, these are my videos on your YouTube. Show me how much money you've made. Give me. Because even if I decide to sue you, I can sue you because yeah. we didn't sign nothing. Yeah. But you uploaded my content on yours and you monetized and you made money. But what on a katuzi leza, ah, utanipele copy because me no bossy. Exactly. And it's, it's, you know, even for you comedians, now you are pushed and platforms like YouTube, Instagram yep. pushed you guys to now, ah, we can create content and we can, we can, we can use our craft to kutusaidia si wenyewe. Now yeah. for actors, Obina, me, I have to wait for a script to come. That suits you. me for me to, unless I have enough budget to go and do my own show. Which is so most of us are stuck, are stuck in Just that, in that in. loop. Eh? Then we, so that for, for a long time, we haven't dignified the acting scene. And it's also our fault. Me, I don't blame those producers. I always say, you were exploited. Because what mm -hmm. happens, um, I started acting when I was 12. 13. I was being managed by my mom when I was, when I started in Machachar. Okay. It's been of, over a decade now. Okay. And the shift came when I actually got proper management to protect me from all of this. So also this is a call out to my actors. The moment tutakubali dokiasi leo. The moment you kubali to be paid the same rate for 5 6 years, the moment you kubali the bad working conditions that's how the craft will be viewed. We haven't dignified our craft. I don't come there with a manager. I don't come there having understood my contract. So we produce that on a on it too. In fact, you're not even serious. But with you don't understanding. Think yeah, yeah, it, no, it, no. I'm it's, just yeah. It's it's because of the situation. This yeah, is what exactly, I mean. Bro me fungi wa keja. I wanna dish him to him gonju wa mama nini me figa kwa sedna bianyaje. Piga is in mazen akupiga so and na you unapiga i for the next two months. So a month, so next month, but you could shoot every day. Bro, you watch. Always you watch. watch, boogie at a chukua. Uh, exactly. Because boogie pia kona shida zake. Yeah, ni mzi. Yeah. Na pia ni mzi. But, exactly, you'll be in a higher. For the, leo mekuwa na noma, you may be doing a job to your noma. Yeah. You get that money. You don't even manage it well enough to make sure you're not in the same position. Because the it's only little, reason, bro. No, no, no. Listen, listen, Obina. And if we don't make such sacrifices, if I don't take a stand where, Obina, there are times where ni mekata a job, Na sina anything, sina ata rent. Recent past, sina ata rent. But ni a job because I have to protect my... I, I decided, you know what? For 10 years, ni mekuwa nikikubali hizi job na nimebebua. Bugi reti yake na kwa gai. So yeah. it reaches a point where you have just to make that sacrifice knowing, yeah, I will miss out on this plate. I will miss out on this. But you make that choice. You make that tough decision to protect your dignity and to stamp... Be aggressive hey, and say, this is my worth. So, hey, it's hey. hard. No, no, no. It's hard, but mm. 
you, you see, making that decision is hard. Also, staying in the same loop is hard. So you yeah. choose your hard. The problem of staying in the same loop is familiar territory. That's what most people do. Mm. Uh, it's comfortable. It, yeah, it's comfortable. You know, when you do a telenovela for one, two years, three years, four years, ukikuita wala kuliza bugi unafikiria bugi tulia ini job long term tulia yeah. ukae hapo iku then unatulia unaka hapo even mentally you don't because you know hey me i'm in a, i'm in a series that's paying me for two years every month i'm in my comfort zone when you re, when, when when you're in that zone obina let me tell you you've already you've already made that decision that this is my worth and i'm okay with it so don't blame anyone don't blame the industry hey bro unakataka kuchukua dom so mwingine anachukua mazee hey. you just miss Nivo, opportunities hey, and, that's why, and that's why i'm saying mimi nimekataa kuchukua dom zingine because even right now eh hey, nimekataa kuchukua dom zingine and ukikataa kuchukua hiyo dom there's always talk of eh hey, bugi squeeze amekuwa star eh hey, anaringa eh hey, bugi anaringa obina ni sawa but you have to make that you i've, I've told you, you have to choose your hard it's either the hardness of getting many jobs that are paying you small and that is your that's how we equate your value or saying you know what this is my worth and I can table this worth because of my performance my work ethic my brand and if you guys don't pay me this I won't do this job trust you me obina if you're true to your craft and you know yourself and you know your value someone will give you what you are someone will see your value and i'm not saying that you nakata two job na value yako equate me when i when 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 i evaluate myself me when be even people my age unaona kuna difference ya kujua wathi yako na kuwa mjinga kaanza sema mimi najua wathi yangu and ukitisha 300k do you bring 300k value to the table so if you know your value for sure someone somewhere utaata hii job hii job hii job but kuna ile yenye utawai that there something somewhere someone somewhere will appreciate your value so that's one thing um neza sema we are like this in the industry we yeah. act as we are being exploited but we also have a responsibility to stand up for ourselves protect ourselves and improve your brand to a point where now you can sit down with the producer and tell them start kwa 10k nda chukua 50k mbona mimi naleta hii naleta hii value kwa show yako mimi naleta kuna watu watakaa kuwatch movie cuz obina is in the show i have my socials i have this and this you have already you've made yourself valuable to the marketplace otherwise you'll still be the same and you're saying nothing will you're saying many actors unapata kuona same faces same people on the screen but if you see let me take for example blessing blessing lungaho he has good numbers when i'm casting when i look at blessing when i look at melo i'm looking at uh, uh, someone you know hey, you, you 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 age range yake unaona ali 40 zama 39 nini nini masculine nini nini I'll go and look at Blessing's page. Look at his portfolio. Look at his numbers. Look at the value he's bringing to the table. And many producers will call him over and over again because he's bringing something valuable to the table. Kate actress Sarah Hassan. Look at all of those actors who have branded themselves to a point where when they sit on that table, they can have the confidence to state their value. But do some people sleep to get their roles? sleep with the producers and directors yeah i mean not just in acting everywhere hata nyi industry yetu hata kwa ofisi that's a thing that's a character thing i believe if you believe um getting favors you have to sell a part of yourself that's a, that's who you are it okay. happens in every industry yeah okay okay aya let's paint a picture actors in kenya payment plan entry level extra inafaa lipwe kama ngapi inafaa then wanalipwa ngapi I mean if you have to pay them well you know we actually have i think we actually have a red card hmm. that that we, we have a red card that was released by i think the Kenyan actors guild or something yeah that's never followed really. so i can't say, I can't say for now i can't say we have set rates that we are supposed to be that, no according to bugi yeah. roughly unaona extra but you don't gapi i think an extra from per day i think yeah, from, yeah. yeah i think normal good rates are usually like 1500 to 2k extra day. extra okay. but most extras unapata wanalipwa punch okay na kwa hiyo punch lazima atoe fair so watu una, unaambiwa ngo ukiingia extra you're doing it for the exposure yeah eh, don't true. like true. like utalipwa tu kupata fair kwenda job yeah mm. so kuna extra then kuna then kuna supporting supporting then kuna supporting main uh-huh. then kuna lead roles lead role yeah. uh, supporting uh, approximately ono na inafaa lipwe don ngapi <sighs> No that's that's actually a very I've, I've never thought it I've never thought about it like that because I found myself in situations where 
it is an actor who's doing a supporting role, being paid way better than the lead because of the value they bring. You get Obina, who mm-hmm. come, you might do a cameo role as Obina one scene, but you do me lipua rate yako maybe 50k a day. Na me as a lead maybe na lipua 15k. You get mm-hmm. so that's also another thing that you've brought well, up. We don't have value. set. Eh, we don't have. Yani akuna stone and nini ati yidu yeah. na fakulipua. You can find in some shows leads are being paid way less. We can find in some shows actually guys are being told we are all paying you a set rate of kilam total lipua 15k a day. What in a could distinguish ni maybe mean kona more working days. Maybe me I'll do 30 mm. days. You you'll do two days. Yeah. So we 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 haven't really we don't have a formula to to evaluate this pay okay. and that's a, that's it works to the advantage of those oppressing us okay you get so most of the time it's you're paid according to the value you bring on board okay yeah and what of uh, stunt doubles and stunts men and women do you think they're paid well ama wanambiona wewe kuja bwana wewe sasa wewe si star it it depends it depends on the production you know especially when you find a production that now has has stunts and everything okay yeah. only wasako na budget because you'll find even most productions don't want to script stories that gear towards that because that's costly to do a stunt scene you need to have safety kuna two zile basics lazima okay. kuna crash mask lazima kuna easy lazima kuna stunt operator lazima kuna so kuna some productions will just chop that tufanye ndani ya nyumba eh tufanye ndani hii ngumi si tunaweza cut tu kabla ifike hapa you know but we have bugi wacha tupige ngumi moja eh ama bugi si chukua tu moja eh chukua slap alafu tu so it depends on the it depends on the on the production house okay. but also what i can anchor on is it depends right now the state of the industry is the value you bring on board okay. so that means it's it becomes very unfortunate to the very 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 talented and skilled actors who might not have even the numbers on their social media That's true. but they are very 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 good in their craft because they don't just appreciate craft. we don't know you yeah. like who are you who are you well, like... uh, but he's the best performer she's the best performer on the show but ukiuliza Kenya Melipo they are way underpaid because we haven't reached a level where acting is being taken as a proper profession when you tell a dop cameraman to a sound like it's a proper like in your rate you to a sound in your rate you to a manager in your acting me in fact some producers feel like they're doing you a favor to put you on screen not, not knowing some all not knowing <laughs> okay, not, most. <laughs> not knowing yes when i'm in that screen is when me they... don't have everything sound you can't have a buyer everybody looks at book who is in that image when this show is rerun nobody knows um the dop who shot the show five times yeah uh, people just see your face you are the face and that's why in in, in developed industries actors you you have your pay you have royalties because they understand the fact that once you use this image True. once you shoot this your image will be used over and over multiple times so that means if you have royalties when that particular show is being resold again you get a percentage now see sometimes even actors want to sign 0.0 something percent royalty meaning you show ikitoka hapa you use netflix 100 million i get a piece of that you use hapa 100 but kenya here iko do we have guilds that protect actors uh, producers in kenya for me like I, i can see the states I, there I is say we don't have functioning nini We don't have functioning. Oh, so they are there by name, but they are not doing anything. Yeah, yeah, we don't have we don't have we don't have we don't have systems. Our industry, I can the acting industry, I can I can really say it's an acting scene, not an industry, because an industry needs structures to operate. True. So it's an acting scene which favors some people and doesn't favor some people. And the other bunch which is not favored, it's easy to exploit them because we don't have the structures to protect them. What was Jipange? What was Jipange too? And that's why I'm saying it's not just a blame from one party. Me I've done shows where I've been exploited and I've gone to other shows Obina. Yaani wame ni treat too poor, wame ni liparate yangu. Vizuri. For me ni treat too poor. Hata ukiingia. Eh, so it's a character, hey, it's a character thing. Hey, I've, I've, I've done shows for really good producers. I've done shows for also some producers who weka kwa gari tutakuta time roll yako ni sawa. Exactly. Unaona? <laughs> eh, hey, so you can't you can't decide you can't gauge on someone's character the best thing is protect yourself ukipo hiyo contract so maelewa uliza maswali kwa kujelewa state your value back your value by the value you bring to the marketplace as an actor as an artist i always say you can do anything for free because of the passion and the love we we we, we are not financially literate in the game so get a manager me that's why i have anji 
Tunapata napata job na mwambie nji lazima tufanye anambia tulia hapo. Tulia. Exactly. How do you get a good manager? Bro, if me personally Binom. I've struggled with getting yeah. an Amobina. Like mean, sometimes I, I manage I, myself. I'm like, "Hello, this Obina's management eh." Uh, Acha <laughs> nikwambie, eh. Ni hard, ni hard. Hiyo pia siezi sema ni kwa. Muda na kurusha do. Unarushwa do. Kuna wengine si managers ni my agent. Ala kujanga tu kwa na deal. Unaona? Eh. Exactly. So, um, how do you get a good manager even as an actor so that other actors who are watching they know this is what you look out for, this is what you do? I think first of all me um especially when over the recent recent years when ilikuwa na hang out a lot with other peers in the industry especially musicians and nini i was having a lot of talk so um that's how i met anchi i met anchi kwa backstage ya show and we started having a conversation then can, uh, when i ask ben so hey anchi hey when i hear hey ana work na soldier okay ame work na sauti okay Mark Navan SMD for it. Oh, oh, okay. This is something. Then we have a conversation with her. And the first conversation I had with Anchi, it wasn't about what I can do for your brand, how much money you can bring in. How what percentage I want is what. Boogie, what's your brand? What's your vision for the brand? And what's your plan? So, identifying someone who's genuinely interested with your well-being as Boogie because Anchi understands the fact that the brand can only make money if Boogie is mentally okay. There are some projects I was in and Anchi was telling me Boogie just finish this and rest because it's messing you up. You come home every day you're pissed. You can't any your pissed. Yeah, it's making the money huko injo unaonekana wewe ni star but mentally you're not okay. Yeah. I needed someone to tell me that Boogie we need therapy. Boogie now we, we have to have a plan. This year what's your first quarter plan? What's your plan for the second quarter? What's your someone who genuinely kwanza a manager who fast and akab kuongea about the money and the brands and the first you need someone you're very hard and that's why that's why i'm saying when we have an industry and we have structures it's perfect because right now for example like um anchi she has an agency called creative catalyst and right now apart from me as bugi we have shikomushiri nyokabi masharia who are actors who are now being managed by anchi because she came in and she realized we 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 huko huko mko na noma there's a loophole somewhere there are no managers to manage actors and actors are being exploited and these actors they need help because they are artists so yes there's um kuna kuna hiyo naweza sema ni we have very few genuine managers but i believe also i'm i'm a firm believer of if you start aligning yourself towards certain things your values yourself even as a person the universe na god will let our tuna need eh. so the only way i could meet anchi is if i was in the same wavelength that's why when i had the first conversation with her angenisikia angesikia okay when i met anchi the first time akwa na jua bugi ni nani the only way she knew ni watu walikuwa na nigot eh bugi 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 then she was like, who's, who's this kid who that nigga yeah who then eh, we had a genuine <laughs> conversation after that date she went Yani alifanya umo kia brand yangu. The following day, alikuwa na draw more about my brand than me. Then there's a person who knows it. Anchi, are you representing also like host nini nini like funny guy ha ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we should you know how like your boy. <laughs> so, there's also this rumor that uh female actors are manipulated more like they're underpaid you can find a female actor doing the same thing as a male counterpart but the male is paid more than the female is that happening in Kenya and seen more i think even Kenya and seen it's <laughs> even the male actors are not being paid well so <laughs> they are all in the same okay, boat so yeah. male actors wana nyanyaswa lakini female actors wana nyanyaswa kuliko the only way female actors wanaweza lipwa vizuri kwa ile ya kunyanyaswa ya male ni kama wakipita na mtu ama wafanye na mna ina mna i've been in most productions that i've been in and we've had open uh, conversations with fellow castmates we actually find we're in the same boat kai pia una lipo hii pia mimi well tuendele tu it doesn't reach to a point where actually there are good rates and one gender is not being paid well so we are all in the dips okay. so i can say the the the, the, the difference is your either as i've said mm. valuable actor valuable actor or others mm. and also proving that value can also be yani kama wewe ni bugi you're already on netflix and you're still complaining sasa ule mwenye hata hajaingia hata citizen mwenye hata hajaingia hata mtv ama standard group i wouldn't say it's complaining i would say is no like you're not yeah, contented yeah, not that, yeah. you know you're like ah we could be paid better we yeah. could be treated better imagine eh 
a ule mwenye ameanza kwenye naweza muambia you should not start thinking about the money conversation first as i've said create your value first the only thing that gives me confidence to at least now start saying okay i think i need to be paid well it's because i've done my 10 plus years i've done so many projects na za machachari toka hapo did dream child a feature film mm-hmm. toka hapo did kina in my shamaji toka hapo did salem in between hapo nimefanya sleep nimefanya feature films one two and right now i'm on netflix meaning ni manza view sasa nikaenda showmax nikaenda netflix it's a journey and that journey I've, I've, it's a progression It's the same rate ul kuna lipo kianza comedy see the same rate now but right now you have the confidence to say okay sai it no, will say no i'm always like if you're exactly. not paying me this you'll be na naringa ko sai value your value is yani ukienda pale you know the value you're bringing so what do you ask what value am i getting back so for any young actor who's starting out in fact the industry is becoming even more open and more better now because now we have many platforms sai unaweza chagua Say you never say no in hope that in two months I'll get another audition. Say you never say no in hope that actually I can start creating content online and making something of it. So, yeah. Why why have the Kenyan artists started doing like Nigerian artists the ones for uh, actors? They do their movies and they put them on YouTube. Like in YouTube there's too many Nigerian films like they do them specifically for YouTube. Budget. As I've told you if I was to do my own show like lazima tu niko na pake No, no, lazima niko na budget ya kutosha. Lazima niko as you said most of these actors already they are being paid to survive. So there's no extra. Yeah, so eh, our Nigerians probably alifanya show moja. Alipiga his series last year. It paid him so well. He's saying I don't want to do another series for two years, three years. Mimi hata nikiwa job nyingine sasa ina nipigiwe. Eh, niko hela bora. Hii tunatunda. So wewe uko hii set tunamaliza. Hata usiku uko zini nyingine mchana. Na uko night shoot. Weekend una shoot content. Ju unataka kuwa influencer you get some other. Within 5 6 years yo yo una una crash. Bro it's tough. It's tough. That's why watu wanagombana kwa set. Nilisikia uli ulifukuzwa kwa nini? Is it Salem? Uh no tuli I walisema so, ulikuwa ulikuwa mgumu kwa knae so rumors uh, these are rumors mm. they are uh, not proven yeah. you had to work with ulikuwa na kiburi go to your head mpaka you are fired from salem okambia they don't want to work with you anymore uh, those are rumors those are rumors but i also told you there is when you decide to set your foot down and start you know asking okay. for the basics it my trouble off to some people because okay. what what anza kuuliza eh hey, mbona hii season bugi anaitisha hii na kwa anaitisha hii la season oh, we'll mbona change bugi, bay katikati ya season as ku change bay yeah um, how can i put it um i've done salem for two seasons yeah this i just finished my season two. salem has replaced i think five lead actors i'm not the first one within within the within these two seasons we have replaced Mumbi Maina, Melvin Alusa, Ilya Frank, Ruth Mainge, Brian Kabugi. That should show you there's something. There's something. Second of all, out of all these projects I've done, this specific one <laughs> is the one, you know, there are so many questions to it, but not to go too much into detail into that is once I got management and I got someone to show me, okay, this contract says this you should ask for this and this pesa yeah obviously it will rub off and it wasn't just you know no maribia to pesa hapa ata ata it wasn't just money it wasn't was comfortable with the man no no buki was okay until you came to the picture yeah, so then you told him so so it, it's not just about the money, the money yeah. it's also about um the environment and just certain basics that i feel uh with our guy ingefanya ingefanya inge inge ingefanya ni kwa you are on trailer you know now the more massage you know as in massage you pole pole my ice cube my towel is a white basics to basics to basics to za kufanya kama nyama choma on set na watu wanakula chapo madondo wanakula chapo madondo alafu bigia kwa hapa so that's what comes out and other actors even become more scared to oppose most it's always like that for them yeah it's always Most like that because oh simliona bugi ali blacklist you cuz ali yeah. ali set his foot down fired, bro. yeah but for me i'd say um for salem it was just eh tulielewana tukasema acha ni malize this season peace guys Asante. eh to make job boy it was very well at kwa na any bad blood uh, anchi was handling all that okay. and my management and 
we conclusively realized that going into the next season, you will not be, be in there. agreement. Yeah. That, that was the same show that you nearly slapped someone. Si slap. Gumi. Apana. Olympica take I don't fight. But there was a, a show that on production, you guys nearly fought. <laughs> what happened? Okay, it was a frustrating space. Sometimes we <laughs> were too frustrated. Eh? But I could have What a quack tapa. It was a frustrating space that you lashed out. No, I think the worst in a fanya too ni. Kusama tu I walk out to I need a shampoo. Wow, what you put our day. Hey, because people are manzuna piga show you in your emotions. Hug you! So I'm middle finger. Eh, nikisha fanya hiyo. Ah. Eh? That's more reason. I give them more reason to now say. So one thing that has to be constant always is the discipline. Because okay. Nikki to lay frustration zangu, director. Director ni lipi. Cameraman ni lipi. But after that, your director tend to say, hey, boogie cannot control boogie his emotions. Normal. Boogie, yeah. yeah. So the most important, I've been on situations where I feel like, mm, neza, but yeah. breathe in, breathe out. as a young person, it's very easy. Oh my, oh, Gen Z, and I, and be, you know, and so already to <laughs> we are emotional, we are, hey, so, you are seven, a yes, yeah. so sometimes even you, utakuwa disrespected, something will happen on set, utajiweke atu, then you go home, you're so frustrated, you cry, you cry, you shout, but kesho uko set, kesho na itajikuwa set, na they won't even care about how your night was, how you, uta come set, you perform, so it requires a level of discipline and switching off what you want about what you like to just put out the performance. Most actors are, are battling mental health issues, isn't you? Yeah. Because you get abused on set, nobody cares, nobody cancels you. Tomorrow you need to come back and you need to perform again. And probably you get the same, same abuse and mistreatment again. Then you still come, then you're still underpaid, then whatever, you're overworked. I always see some of my actor yeah. friends, they go... Late into the night, even when I was doing that extra, the show I was doing, bro, I came there at around 2 p.m. I was shooting my part at 4 a.m. the following day. Nani kusimama na official shoes. Nani ku... Yeah, man, the conditions, kwanza for an actor, it's crazy, because I usually even say this on set, like, you cannot treat actors the same way. You cannot, our work is not just physical. Kumbuka, um, so manages, camera... Crew, I mob sana. Technical, very technical and all light. Mm. But the moment to make cut, probably um to touch up equipment till the following day. Now, me as an actor, my work is not just physical but mental. Kumbuka kazi yangu ni kusoma lines na kusema lines. Kazi yangu ni kujiweka in emotion. So I have physical, mental and emotional fatigue. When I go home, I can't wrap sangapi. Either that night or early in the morning. I still go home with my work because I have to prepare for my lines the following day. So you do that over and over again for one, one month, two months, six months, one year. It's very, very, very tiresome, especially if you don't have breaks. And not just physical breaks, mental breaks. You don't have, you don't go for therapy. You don't have yeah. somewhere to de-roll and do all that. But here in Kenya, actors are also expected to carry the physical baggage, the mental baggage, and the emotional baggage. And the money doesn't doesn't level up. So it becomes a, in a... It's very easy for an actor to be frustrated, which is normal. By the way, working hours for actors in any industry, they are crazy, Obina. The only thing that other industries maybe have an advantage over us is are they pay. And the pay is so good. We are keep up leo. And in the Maldives for one week, two weeks. Yeah. Stucky job. Eh. Probably at a set tena in three... Af Maybe after three months. Like you are set, the conditions. Yeah, the conditions. Also, the conditions yeah. are better because. Na trailer, Malika Yeah, in fact, in fact, you need to talent. You know, not because that you are better than the person ako crew. No. Yeah. In most sets, in most you will realize they understand that this actor first in dominion and the kufanyo performance yangu. I need to put myself in a certain emotional headspace. Obina, maybe I had my best day, best day at home, but ni kenda set the following day. All scenes na for kwa breakdown. I'm an opposite. I'm the opposite. So it's emotional, physical, okay. and mental baggage. I've seen uh, you. You've, you've been in the industry for a while, and until now, you're still feeling like you still not achieved that thing that you want to achieve in the industry. However, what was that one defining 
part in your life, a phone call you got, a role you played, you're like, this is it. This is the game changer. This is now what's going to flip everything. Because you've been mm. acting since you were a child. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think, um, I would say so far, so far, obviously top of the list was volume. Okay. Because me getting the volume call, I was actually, uh, we were actually getting into Salem season two. I shot volume and Salem in the same time frame. Meaning I didn't have time to rehearse, to nini, did kona to set, Friday, Monday, and volume. So that, but I knew, I knew for sure, I knew for sure this will change something. This, so that's why there are some decisions we take knowingly. Yeah, I told Anchi, if volume matter kama nini ama nini, I'm doing this show because I see what it can do and the value it can bring on board. So me getting that, Kwanza when we went for auditions, when I got the call to audition the role and I went and the call back and finally we got the call of, okay, Boogie, we are banking on you. Will you be able to do this? Remember you're on another show, yes. We are banking on you. We are giving you this job. I knew Netflix will change my trajectory, Kabisa. Before that, I think was also after Machachari. Yeah. And I got a call from Zamaradi uh, to do a feature film called Dream Child. Because also that opened really a lot of doors for me. Because okay. me doing that Dream Child, that's how um, Zamaradi also called me for their show Kina. And that's when I did Kina. It was just the first 15 episodes. Now, the client also called me to audition for Salem. So I can say hey, those two calls, and that's why I'm telling you it's progression. It's, pole, it's pole progression. Too. And even right now, I'm so I appreciate and I I thank God for the fires brought me. I thank my mom, I thank my management, and I'm and I'm so happy for what I've been able to achieve. But I feel there's so much more. There's so much more I can still do for this industry, and there's so much more I can take my talent. Whether here locally, internationally, I, I have, you have to dreams push it to the I, 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 I'm only no, 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 local, you know what I'm no, 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 yeah, so some some nice nice actors and also they are really really amazing performers who really inspire me locally um the late charles Ouda, um george moore uh melvin alusa okay. nini washera yeah, Yo, nini Uma, i yeah. saw nini washera when i was a yeah. child yeah the <laughs> movie she did i'm telling you my brother you know what i'm saying <laughs> I've never looked at her the same. The uh, <laughs> character. I know, but that movie, everybody was like, yo, you know, you're, you're in your that, teen. That time performer. I was a teenager. Yeah, that's a performer. I was just like, what? So since then, anytime uh, I see Nini Alessia, I'm like, I know what you did. Nini is one of the, yeah, I think she's, she's one of the best performers. She's, she's fine. We've ever, one of the best talents we've been blessed with. Let me ask you, how do you manage to capture your lines? So I, I love suits. I love... Uh, Dembe get the jet, blacklist. 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 <laughs> I love uh, House of Cards. Yeah. House of and any time I'm watching these movies, I'm always like, how did these people get these lines? Like also Good Doctor. Yeah. Like Good Doctor, these guys are like doctors and medicinal terms and yeah, suits actors. law. Yeah. And I'm like, House of Cards, politics. And I'm yeah, just like, yeah. you, guys. you know, so, like such productions you'll find even months before part of the pre-production and the rehearsals for the actor. Those guys probably well, like, were, they were taken through a proper course. Law for courses, law. Yeah. They have mentors who are training them on law. No, this is actually what the constitution, this is the clause you use, this is how lawyers talk, walk, nini, nini. So the, they probably have months prior of training. Yeah, yeah. Same to good doctor, you know. They have months prior of training. They're actually being paid to train to become the character before they actually get to set to perform the character. Yeah. So an actor can never do it alone. Even the way volume is as good as it is, it's so much, so much into play. The wardrobe was top notch, the makeup was top notch, the production was top notch. You know, Tosh with the limited amount of time Tosh Gitonga had, he really tried his best to put us into the same into into that zone. I remember him telling asking me, Do you wanna rap? Ama? We just do, you know, you add lib and I was like, I would love to rap. Can we create space for that? And some of the Saturdays, 
nilikuwa naenda kufunzwa ku rap literally you know try and say this line record this is we, have, we had very limited time but there's so much more that it's done to make sure the actor performs to the best of his ability in acting so even when it back to your question even when it comes to lines lines is a personal you know lazima tu it's a personal display we cram eh, you need tools zako eh si lazima cram some people over the years you find easy ways you read a script and you understand the language of your character na you understand the key points and the key messages that they are trying to drive and you perform and obvious doing this cuz maybe in a day like for salem we were doing 18 to 22 pages average in a, in a, in a nilini 6 to 10 pages in any show a day so we do 18 pages to 22 pages so those are like 12 scenes so actors you lazima kuwe fresh hey, lazima kuwe fresh we some of the scripts are not verbatim you know yeah like you if you get the idea you can find a few words to yeah but you just have to stay anchored to the story and what the director wants you to there also some lines utajaribu kwa hapo smart umesahau lines alafu naambia director i'm changing it to my language no no no, no. <laughs> yeah. come back come back and to this one and that's why i'm saying it's very hard like there is no shortcut lazima ufike home and tomorrow na join i have two scenes and i have monologues i have to prepare when i get to the set no matter hata kama mimi genius you'll see it you'll see is not prepped is not so you constantly have to nika kupiga tizi nika kuwa footballer and you do that and yeah. still some people come online and still hate like i yeah. saw in was it salem or volume, volume the one volume. people are saying you can't rap you know zema manze bugi me manze 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 yeah cuz also the we don't you know the audience i don't blame them because the audience doesn't know of this other world for instance with volume we have the acting and the music the music is being driven and controlled by it has a music director it has writers who are writing and the guys who are making the music i have no control over that i'm an actor msi rapper sita kujabo na kiburi yangu niwaambia actually unajua ngoma za gen z ndio zikata cross gen z lazima ni wapebe skilo eh actually unajua mimi nimeka na wasanii kieni tule tufanye no unatulia no unatulia mimi nikakupewa script na lines so naletewa naambiwa this is the music we've written this is how we feel because also them they are part of writing This is how we feel yeah. Benja should be performed. Okay. So the only thing I can do as an actor is perform to that level. So even when you listen to the volume music, even the title sequence and the score and everything, I think they really did a good job. They 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 tried to they tried we really to. did we really did a good job considering also it's a fast musical. But also the the um, the good thing with that is out of everything else, I think that's the only thing. Not your Kenya to not taftanga kitu tu ya ku hit. The only thing they could find is that So but I'm yeah. vizuri lakini tupata kwa muziki yeah, yeah. but kwa season 2 yeah. we we have acknowledged that yeah. we've had conversations with Tosh by the way uh, and the music team and we were like yeah, we were trying no no season 2 we can actually try to and it's also hard for Tosh cuz yeah. then akileta hapo rapper mwambie please write for Boogie's music unanilipanga wapi zangu ni kwambi you know and letwa cardinal yeah, you know so it's it's hard you you've been acting throughout your whole life let's put it yeah. that way yeah Let's now go back to school because now you also have an, a high school tour that's coming yeah, I have up. a high school tour. How did you manage between Machachari and school? Okay, ulimaliza masomo? As going skwingi ya campo. Skwingi ya campo. Mave 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 ali ali jam but ali lelewa cuz um first when we to answer your question tukiwa Machachari weekends we were shooting Monday to Friday to go set. Then tukifunga shule eh set. Oh Monday to Friday to go set weekend to na shoot. Monday to Friday tuko shule we can't hey, tuko set. kidogo. Pole kidogo. Okay, yeah. okay, uh-huh. Then tukifunga shule if it's a four week holiday maybe the first two weeks tuko I marathon should. the last two weeks tuko home mama the last week uko home doing now unamaliza homework. Okay. So ulikuwa na very limited time pia ya ma. So mabeste wangu mainly walikuwa my friends to make concert and vice versa. So na kwa shule si ulikuwa star. Kipula pivi you are saying. Ah ah. Tulikuona weekend. Hata manze mimi kwanza madhangu you know my mom is a teacher. My mom had a rule that sifai kuitwa my role name. So nilikuwa nitoa kedi so sifai kuitoa kedi shule. Ningeitoa hiyo wange nichapa hata mbele ya watu. Nisipate hiyo kiburi ya oh, wow. like she even alikuwa anambia hata walimu huyu ni Brian Kafugi. <laughs> hata si bugi. Kafugi. Kafugi. <laughs> hata excuse ndio mama wangu anaanza ku. Hata excuse unaitwa bugi. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. then when I got to high school pia I was still actively like nilikuwa natoka 
kuna times nilikuwa namaliza shule I remember even me doing some, my my exam na maliza sai sana nane na kama nachukuliwa naenda set na shoot your time you were shooting dream child i remember naenda na shoot 2018 shooting dream child so for me the only way my mom allowed me to venture into this is she actively saw me pursuing this passion to my fullest even after machachari nilikuwa natoka ni auditions naenda panga malaini audition mom ni pay fair ama uni drop mom nini nini actively actively and she realized okay it's already making ma- some kind of money for him that's coming obviously at that time ilikuwa inaenda kwa madhe na ili msaidia kuni raise kuni yeah. fees and everything but aliona the intent and that's yeah. why i tell every young person oh par- parent wangu ni support ni umemuonyesha umemprovea because also it's very easy for you to say nataka kuwa footballer na umetulia na ufanyangi kitu na maembe hey, pia hey, no, you're, you're even not doing anything yeah. kuonyesha paro wako nyewe this is what i'm good i'm committed and i'm passionate about this so me the only reason my mom being a teacher supported me even when i said mom okay nimemaliza kcse uh, i actually got a scholarship to go to kenya film school nikambia mom uh, actually i think uh, nikiteka break for one or two years off screen na nimepata hiyo opportunity ya kina itakuwa very hard for me to come back nataka kuendeleza okay. for mom that made sense cuz aliona okay. aliona contracts aliona u boy amekuwa kijipusha aliona his son is actively pursuing this as a career i'm not joking it's not something i'm trying to try out yeah, okay. so for every young person who's there and they are telling their parents this is what i want to pursue me i believe every parent wants the best for their kid the only way to get that support from your parent is to actively prove to them with however small kama wewe ni artist chora Sema every day ndako na chora pija na noesha babangu. If I like to do TikToks, if I like to vlog, every week I do a vlog and I show to my mom. Mom in your vlog nimepana nataka kuweka YouTube. Nataka kuwa hii, nataka kuwa footballer. Every day I'm can get easy. When you umeonyesha your parent value, umemuonyesha and you are willing to do what it passionate takes. About hey, you're passionate about they it, will. They, will, they will definitely cause also most of our industry especially the arts they know it's not easy to monetize it's very hard one on easy stories huko nje eh we so kwa mwalimu kwa daktari kwa tu mwalimu eh the safest the 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 yeah, safest play safe yeah. kwa pensionable yeah, yeah, that's the yeah. one play safe so wasani mkoto na nini yeah so for me the only thing that helped me ni actively showing that i'm passionate about this okay eh, tukiwa na mom nini eh mom question kwa audition nyingine niombe tunaomba your siblings pia wako kwa hii field no 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 i have a big brother who's totally different he's a mechanical engineer Gen- to- yani mimi na yetu kwa hapa and that's why i'm saying even for my brother since he was a kid alikuwa huyo booksmart he knew what he wanted to do okay. so mama limpuju yo and mom knew dan is different from brian we can okay. never be the same so now you're going back to high schools doing a tour what's the tour about inspiring these kids i want to talk to these kids about pursuing their talents these from kids as if you're not one of them and they go they move obina i'm always the kid bro hey. <laughs> <laughs> so um inspiring um fellow young people <laughs> now we are talking yeah, 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 yeah. you know these kids you know you know, you know. <laughs> you're still one of them si wako kitu kama 21 23 toto anchi hujamwambia hawa ni children toto mimi ni wale 23 with 11 years experience <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah that's you actually <laughs> yeah but uh-huh. um, i want to inspire my fellow young people okay. to actually actively start finding themselves in high school sikungo the after come on uko passionate about this thing start figuring it out in high school okay. start the mantras that me i followed and the disciplines to help me figure myself out in high school also we have a lack of young influential models to this to this generation true who are in, who are positively impacting this Impact, so yeah. i want to change that narrative inspire them also draw some inspiration from them but also inspire the teachers and the general of like supporting like high schoolers this high school ndio ilikuwa it's up on your adolescence and up on your teenagehood in anza it's high school is very pivotal on who the you become the, especially yeah. as a young adult so my main purpose of the tour is to inspire them also open opportunities for them yeah and also show them that you know you can actively start thinking about your life in whatever field you choose whether it's the arts whether it's the whatever you can actively start doing that from now and for me i think it will be more impactful to them because they are like bugi to limona kiwa mtoi and right now amefika hapa so it's easy for me to reach out to them and tell them actually 
isn't your decisions una kwa una make sai these are the important decisions that you need to make right now to convince that parent parwa kwa ku support to convince yeah. you yeah we eh umeamua ku give back to the society yeah. currently dating no hauna moto ai aje wacha zi mimi sikuwa mko na mumama ah bana no keep it that way for now because yeah. you want to move uh, fast yeah. it's good to move alone yeah yeah now you want that progress ukipata mtu itaanza kulag imagine size upatie mtu ball oh no ma do you know everything is dead on arrival because every yeah. money you get now you have to take care of this child and the mother and then the mind even your mind will not be yeah. settled because pia kuna zile madrama zingine za coming in a baby mama ama wife ama everything yeah. oh tumekumiss kama mza ngapi mtoto ananisumbua nini so continue with that pace i like it yeah. now in conclusion let's talk about charles a bit yeah. he was more like a godfather i'll say a mentor a mentor in a mentor the industry peer colleague yeah because for the final season with salem we we were father and son in the show okay yeah. okay how yeah. how did you take uh, the loss like everyone it was a sudden Yeah. and it was it was sad and sudden but um we at least everyone has good memories about charles yeah, yeah he was yeah. he was a light to the industry he was a light to us he took every opportunity to inspire us especially us young guys he always echoed to us you guys are the next generation you guys will do this best so the only justice i can do for charles memory is pushing my craft and my talent to the best of my abilities to represent yeah. the way they paved Charles paved the way for many of us and he was a light. Yeah. So we love him. We um obviously saddened by it. We feel for the family and the loved ones, but we choose to celebrate him every time and for many us young guys it's it's now our responsibility for us to make sure that whatever Charlie did for the industry, whatever way he paved yeah tunapitia hiyo path same same mpaka mwisho and we pave even bigger paths for the next generation so for charlie is uh, that's that's he had such a beautiful impact on us he was an amazing person yeah we but people people are going through so much when mm-hmm. you see the outside shell you would not know and always talk to the fans or just run on people who watch our shows and interact with different celebrities and uh, uh personalities i'm like you don't know what people are going through so even if you don't have anything positive to say you better keep quiet yeah because like charles man look at him me i see i i think i met him once a long time ago but if you look at all the other videos he was doing that are not on set always jovial life of the party he's singing he's vibing he's laughing and mm. everything but there was something that he was battling with but nobody knew man Yeah, man, I mean it's about us being soft with each other. Uh, all of us understanding that we are humans and we all have emotions. Ukienda hapo utroll mtu, ukiandika hiyo troll man, pia wewe hizo vitu unapitia. Jua wewe mtu maybe ana go through something heavier at that yeah. moment in time. Yeah. So it's all it's about just being human with each other. I know some people just hate and this and comment thing for because I can't do it because you know I want to nataka kuheto nu msema ama nataka tu kumchokoza kumnini yeah. but i think if if you are more we are more human to each other if we are more easy on each other i mean the fruits will be way better than us trolling each other we'll have a healthy environment for everyone we'll have a healthy environment of each other and also just especially as us creatives even new obina like man let's take therapy bro Yeah, let's take our mental health seriously let's protect ourselves because i said you don't have structures that okay me ni kwa set i must have therapy or anything you know yeah. we don't have those structures to protect us and with our line of duty obina we job yako you exposed to the public wasi kama so ofe mwenye shida zake sto ijulikana yeah you both your craft and your life are intertwined and they're exposed to the public because of the publicity it brings meaning there's a lot of pressure to handle from outside as well as in inside and that pressure inside outside eventually affects inside so if you don't have that balance and you don't have that courage to start talking about your mental health i must open up to your mental health uh, it becomes a challenge so 
I want us to encourage even us, creative to creative, to encourage each other to really take um, therapy, mental health. But we start first by making it, creating a safe space for us. Because me, I'll never call a fan to talk. I'll call my fellow creative. Yeah, so even us creatives, kwa wenye, kwa wenye, manze tonesha ne love. Eh, ubina kitwa yo show moto. Eh, budo me do poa, I'm proud of you, proud of what you're doing. Ubina kinya mazaki asi, nini ni mbaya bro, kwa poa. Watu wa kitro lobina, usinya maze tu seme, okay, me star comment amani seme. Kwa lobina, nini endele online, au sijali bro, hizo ni makiki tu. Nini endele online, eh, bro, ata misi elei, ah, saa, come to, you know, cause, let's look out for each other. Let's not just wait until there's a tragedy for yeah for us for to come us to together. Be and I always tell also men especially, men don't talk, mm -hmm. men don't share. Let's start talking. And for the ones who don't want to talk, stop laughing at the ones who talk. Yes. Or yes. mocking them. Or mocking them. A man is hurting. A man goes bankrupt now. Uh, and everybody comes and says, yes, ah, yes, we knew. Nee, 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 nee. You don't know why it happened. And instead of laughing at another man, you should take it as a lesson. Yeah. You do not do, never laugh at the failure of another man. Yes. Uh, take, take it, it as, as a lesson. lesson. Learn take from it. that. Learn yeah. from that and go like, okay, so this and this happened. Most men will laugh at each other when you come out, for example, if men are going through gender-based violence or just abuse. You know, yeah. there are men who are even sexually assaulted at their yeah. workplaces, yeah. but they don't know sexual yeah. assault. Because if you come and tell me, bro, I'm going to tell you, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think when you it's a man thing. We don't yeah. take care of ourselves and already see when we don't create safe spaces for, each for other. us to open up. And yeah. that's why we hate on women who do that. When women came out and said stop killing women, we yeah. were like men are like, are like sasa sasa ni ni ni. Kwa, kwa yu situation. Alafu we were like, no, actually exactly. when you look at the numbers. G, G, gender-based gender -based violence, violence is more prominent on people who are married and nini. No, no, why? Sas le boy child wana uliwa, si tunongeanga, but yeah. le time wale maboy wali madu wajwe are ready. Wana ume wangapi tulingia kwa streets kujitatea. None. But when we see women doing that, in a to affect, we are insecure, we get mad. We are getting pissed Simple at the wrong bro, thing. Oh, yeah. You get, join so, them. Hey, join, so next time, yeah, so next they time join situa, you. Hey, next time wana join issues zetu. Simple. Unona, so as men, Especially me, I got that a lot. Especially when I was talking about GBV. I'm like, tulifanya a whole music video na King Kaka time ya kianjoma brothers. It's there on YouTube. We we were vocal about it online, but how many men were talking? Yeah, how many men were pushing? Men but say like... when we see women being there for each other, women standing up for each other because they understand if you can do this to that woman, you'll do it to this. If, your pain is my pain. Ask men are to do evil. Shugulika na pain yako, shugulika na pain yako. Bro, kwa jini kufiti. Kwa kwa strong. Bro, even right now, I always tell men, if I organize a peace walk for men, mental wellness and also gender-based violence, because suicide rates in Kenya, research shows, the highest amount is men. Yeah. Like suicide because of issues that they go, it's men. Mm -hmm. Nobody's talking about it. I say, men, let's go out and talk. Let's walk. Let's have a peace walk. Let's get awareness. Men also cry. Men also bleed. Men are also human. Stop yeah. hurting us. Bro, nda kwa tao, na labda piye wangu, maneja wangu na brother wangu. Alafu online tukutukani. Naona kuna yeah. kuna. Yani ubina hame jipele katao, ni umama, ni umama, ni umama, umama hii. Yeah. As if, first of all, umama is a bad thing. Exactly. As if it's a bad thing. Yeah. Then secondly, it akwa zile za u ni nini uyu, nini, instead of coming. But mademo wakenda kusema ishu zao. Tuna yetu. Sasa meenda hapo sasa ni nini, sinino majipeleka uko. Ile time ya wanaume mbona, sasa le wanaume ya wanani mbona. Men, there you have it. Let's do better. And let's create a safe space. My brother, thank you so much. Asante sana manze for the conversation. Siku na ma story. Manze, hapa tungeka two hours. Mina kwa garedi. Tumeka two hours. Unasema tunge ama tunge. Tumeka two hours. Tumeka two hours. Imekua how long? But in a, in a, in a, one hour, four minutes. Hey, in a manisha, your story in time. Your story in time. Asante sana. Thank bro. you, my brother. Congratulations. Keep Asante. winning. Kabisa. Shikilia mutu moja pia uwaze kumenta. I'm always telling most of my male counterparts, kamutu kamoja tu. Yeah. Some random dude wants to do acting. Pole pole, ni aje bro, umeshuti le real. Weka IG change ina 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 ina. You never know. It yeah. goes a long way to build. Exactly. And then also when you have an opportunity to speak out, the way we've spoken here, speak out. Another person will learn from you and another person will talk and 
ripple effect. But to spawn gear, so you know, maybe I'll see you on So you know, maybe I'll see Then nobody's talking. Yeah. And conversations are the beginning of change. The minute you talk, now people are like, wait a minute. Oh, so, Let's okay. Like now we've spoken about uh, uh, film. Some producers will talk. Mm -hmm. Some camera people who watch this will talk. Some directors will talk. Some actors will talk. And before you know, maybe one year, two years, five years we from now. But we had a conversation. Kuliko, tukufe kama kina Yeah. They didn't talk. As we are, we are like, we are fun. Fun. Mm. we are watching them, we are supporting them. Then later, Anakufa like, Mzo Juang akuwa na kitu yote. The way is like a legend. Yeah. You see. And the same thing is now happening even in uh, athletics. We've just lost a gentleman mm. when he had an accident. Yeah. And wanakimbia kumjengia nyumba saizi. And I'm like, my G, we wouldn't have to kimbia kumjengia nyumba na kweka steamer in the if, area if we, if we yeah. treated him like a legend. Like a hero that he Like was. a hero. You become, you're doing something. Oh, the government, nice. What do we do? Let's do this for you. Let's give you this one. Let's do this for you because you're representing the country. So mm. even as an actor, bro, end up town, attack a shoot video. Una shikwa, una tupwandani, your drone yako na kamera yako inaenda. And the video is marketing the damn country. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Tungi andatana nyingine, but food for thought. Sidio. Thank you, my brother. It was a very, very... Suambia otongo kupate wapi, jamani? Mimi mnipate pale Instagram, at Real Boogie. TikTok brand Kabugi. And... Yeah, I think those two platforms. Yeah. Comment, Kwa like, and subscribe. Yeah. We'll see you guys next week, same place, same yeah. time. Good night. Yeah.